Hi everybody, it's Dr. Jen. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm here at the covered bridge closest to home. Um, it's not far, it's in Ware, Massachusetts. You may be able to hear the water here in the background. Um, out, you know, with this COVID-19 coronavirus crisis, keeping our distance, but getting out and uh, staying to ourselves so we don't go stir crazy at home. Um, so this will be the first time that I've actually seen or photographed um, this bridge, which, and it's, and it's very, it's beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can tell from this video, but I'll add some pictures here. So yesterday we went on a ride to New Hampshire and we stopped at the Ashalot Covered Bridge, which I'll post pictures to here. Um, and I'll also post some pictures later of other covered bridges um, in New England. There's one also from Nova Scotia, and I'll let you decide um, where they are um, in New England, just in case you're curious. Um, again, the goal is to be inspiring, um, you know, and, and to encourage people to get out there and do things they love and take pictures of places and things they love. So I love to take pictures of covered bridges and, and other subject matters like Benches, for example, is my, I love covered br bridges, but benches are my favorite. So I'll do a video on benches at some point in the future. Um, Chronicle had a great episode, if you've ever seen the show or the TV show Chronicle. Um, they had a great episode in recent months on covered bridges. So I'll put a link to that in the, you know, in the comments field below. So you can kind of see that video if you're interested in exploring covered bridges as I have over the years. Again, I'll post some pictures um, that I've taken in the past of covered bridges. Um, and it's so funny, today when I was, <laughs> you know, getting the day started, having coffee and looking at the calendar that um, my partner bought me for uh, Christmas, I was looking at the Bob Ross, uh, <laughs> the Bob Ross picture for the day, um, and I'll post that here. So it's funny, that picture that's uh, for this weekend, it's not a covered bridge, but it wants to be a covered bridge, it ended up being a shed. Um, so I, uh, you know, I thought I would <laughs> share that with you. Um, and also just to say, you know, his kindness has been so inspiring to me. Um, I haven't really followed or watched a lot of his um, videos much um, over the years until after he passed away. Um, because I'm 43 and was, he's a little bit before my time, before I watched things like that in my life. But I, I do think that, um, you know, he's very inspiring and, you know, he's kind of kind and inspiring good to people like I've always tried to be. So I totally respect him and, and love the work that he did while he was alive. Um, and speaking of inspiring, the other quick thing I wanted to mention is that I've always been inspired by Thomas Kincaid. So like Kincaid, um, Bob Ross was a painter, not a photographer. Um, but Kincaid's use of light, which you can see today how beautiful it is outside, right? Um, Kincaid's use of light has always inspired me. Um, I've always loved to take pictures since long before I knew about Kincaid, but um, in recent years, you know, I've taken pictures of, you know, uh, things that, you know, have a lot of light in them. And, and, and part of that is because, you know, I, I'm just inspired by how light touches things. Um, so I have a, a few Kincaids of my own and I'll post one here. Um, my first Kincaid was my father's. He had passed away and it was really one of the only things that I have, you know, left of his. Um, and so that was my first Kincaid, but I've had a few cents and I'll, I'll post a picture of one that I have here. Um, and I'll just end with this video with, um, you know, if you like seeing these videos, please subscribe. 
Um, please also consider buying a picture from our website. I'll post that link in the, the, um, the notes here, comments section here below. Um, but please also consider buying a t-shirt. My final thing that I wanted to end with today is talking about the Daily Woo, Adam the Woo. So I'm very inspired by Adam the Woo. Um, he does something totally different than I do, but he loves adventures, and I love adventures in the way that they are made through photography and writing. Um, but if you love adventures too, I please encourage you to subscribe, not just to my channel, but to his channel. Um, it's The Daily Woo by Adam the Woo. Um, he does t-shirts too, and if it wasn't for you know getting familiar with his site and loving his work, I would not have thought to do my own t-shirt site um, this week after losing all the workshops that I had scheduled due to COVID-19. So thank you so much, Adam, for your inspiration. Please subscribe to his channel. Please subscribe to mine. Please buy our t-shirts. <laughs> I'll have all those links below in the comments field. Um, thank you so much. Please be safe out there. Take care. Have a great weekend.